G'day and welcome back to One Watt Flyer. Today I'll be flying Virgin Australia domestic economy for the first time, so I'm very excited. Right now I'm on Virgin 68 from Hong Kong, ready to land into Melbourne to the Marine runway 34. Just before I move on further, I would like to let you know that I'm now officially on Snapchat, so feel free to add me and start a streak with me. I'll be posting stories every single day, so don't miss out. So far my experience with Virgin has been great. Now I'll go through immigration, collect my bags and move on to custom, then make my own way to Virgin Terminal 3. Melbourne Terminal 1, 2, 3 are pretty much stick together, so it was a very short walk until I reached Terminal 3. As I've done my check-in in Hong Kong and my bags are tagged all the way to Adelaide, I simply need to drop my bags here at Terminal 3, which is a very simple process, especially with my Virgin Velocity Gold card. I can use the priority lane as well. Here's a tip for non-frequent Virgin travellers to and from Melbourne. If you have lounge access, you don't need to worry about going through security check, as you only need to do that once you've left the lounge. Virgin calls that the premium exit, and it's basically a security screening point located between the lounge and all the gates. So it's really convenient for those who are business travellers, but stupid people like me went straight through security and wondered where the heck the lounge is. So at the end, I approached a Virgin staff and he told me to go out via the security screening. Ugh. Inside the lounge, it's actually super spacious and bright, and it's got plenty of chairs available. During the late morning period, there's less hot food available, but there's still a reasonable selection of cold food, like make your own toasty sandwich and salad. And as you can see here, there's many many good alcohol here. Since I'm connecting from a overnight long haul international flight, I feel dirty and messy, so I decided to take a shower. The shower room is surprisingly huge and nicely designed. In here, you have the privilege to use the shower products provided by Melbourne's well-known skincare brand, Hunter. I've still got a couple hours to spend in this lounge, so I'm enjoying this lovely tarmac view with my warm cup of tea. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is a personal page for Mrs. Teresa Rendard. If you're in the lounge, please make yourself known to staff at the front desk. Once again, for Mrs. Teresa Rendard. So now it's time for my flight to South Australia. My flight VA229 today is operated by Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 VHVOM. Virgin is a relatively new airline compared to national carrier Qantas but they ace priority boarding by strictly ensuring only business class, gold and platinum frequent flyers board first. Just like Qantas, in order to board efficiently and quickly as possible to save turnover time, people sitting at the back of the plane are asked to board through the back door to ease congestion in the aisle. My seat today is 28A, Virgin 737 Economy is in a very standard 3x3 layout. Every seat is roughly 17 inches wide and comes with a seat pitch of 30 inches, but thanks to this thin seat design, the leg space fees more than what the number suggests. Unlike Qantas, Virgin uses leather seats and provides no headrest on this particular 737. Every seat comes with a limited recline. When it comes to seat features, there is nothing but this tray table which is not foldable but it can be moved back and forth. Also down here you've got two seat pockets. One thing that I have observed so far is that this plane feels very clean, like there's no food or liquid stain on the tray table or any rubbish in the seat pocket. Not very far away from us is a Etihad 787 from Abu Dhabi. I flew that plane two months ago to London. If you want to check out that trip report, link is in the top right hand corner 
and also in the description down below. It came with no surprise that Virgin has been awarded quite a few times the Best Cabin Crew Award. Because look at his smile. <laughs> Push the two metal ends together until they click. To adjust, pull the strap until tight. And to release, lift the buckle up like this. Only precisely 10.7% of you watching this video has subscribed to my channel. This number for me is shockingly low and can I please ask you to subscribe now if you're part of that 89.3% and also press that bell button next to it so you will never miss out on another video of mine which usually comes out every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. On some Virgin domestic flights there's free and limited Wi-Fi but unfortunately this is not the case for today's flight. But you still get free access to the in-flight entertainment system. To do so, you need to download an app called Virgin Entertainment before you turn on airplane mode. Then once you're in the air, you connect to the Virgin Australia Wi-Fi, open the app and boom, there you go. A good selection of movies, TV shows and news. But do keep in mind that there's no charger on board, so you'll need a power bank to keep your phone running. Inside the seat pocket, there's an air sickness bag, safety car, in-flight magazine and also this menu. On Virgin Domestic Flight, snacks and drinks like juice, tea, coffee are free. But anything else like beer and hot chocolate comes with a price. I will let you have a look through the menu. On this very flight, free snacks is this mini crisps and for drinks I opted for black tea. Although the portion is really small, it was very tasty and flavoury. The lavatory on board Virgin 737 is way bigger than the ones on Qantas and it's practical and kept clean. We're now descending into Adelaide Airport. Let's conclude this short one hour flight right here, right now. My journey started with me walking around the airside and wondering where the lounge is. Although it's kind of my fault for not knowing where the lounge is and not doing enough research to navigate myself, Virgin really could have done better with the signpost because not everyone flying with Virgin is a returning customer knowing their way to everywhere. The lounge was great, I spent a good solid 5 hours in it and the time went by really quickly. As for the flight, the seat is quite comfortable and the leg space is fantastic, although it would be nicer if it got a headrest on every seat. The food portion was tiny but it was very tasty, given that Virgin usually sells their ticket tenderless cheaper than Qantas on this route, I'm happy with my saving and for the mini crisp I got. The crew on board was fantastic, always willing to help and have great genuine smiles on their face. That's it really, 
I will now shut my mouth and let you enjoy the lovely approach into the city of churches. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate your time on watching this. Please like this video, leave any comment you want, subscribe to my channel, share this video and don't forget that I'm officially on Snapchat now. See you there and see you next week on YouTube again. Have a great day.